Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North. Today I'm going to show you how to make three easy macrame hemp bracelets and you can find all the supplies you'll need down in the description below. Okay, we're going to start with the beaded bracelet and you're just going to thread seven beads onto your one of your 16 inch pieces of hemp. Okay, now you're just going to tie a temporary knot in the top of your bracelet, just an overhand knot, and this is just so we can pin it down to our board without it sliding around. Now you're going to take your 72 inch piece of cord that's folded in half and slide it up behind that center cord, and you're going to tie a square knot. You're going to take this, the left cord and bring it in front of the center cord, then you're going to take the right cord and bring it behind that left cord and the center cord and bring it through the loop on the left. And then you're going to pull both sides equally to tighten it up. Now to complete the square knot, you're going to do the same thing in reverse. You're going to bring the right cord over the center cord and the left cord behind both cords and bring it through the hole on the right. And then you're going to tighten that up and that will complete one square knot. Now you're going to tie five more square knots so you have a total of six all together before we start adding the beads. All right, now you're just going to slide one bead up right under the last square knot you tied and then you're just going to tie two square knots right underneath that bead. Repeat that for the rest of the beads. Then you're just going to finish it by tying six more square knots at the bottom. Go ahead and untie that temporary knot we tied in the beginning to hold it to our cork board. And then you're going to take the two ends of the working cords and you're just going to tie a half knot like if you were tying your shoes, but make sure it's on the side that'll be against your wrist and then just apply a little bit of glue right on that knot. Once it dries, cut the ends of the working cords off and if you want to add a little bit more glue here just to keep it from fraying, it's not a bad idea. Leave several inches at the end but then trim them off so they're the same on both sides and then go ahead and tie an overhand knot at, at the ends of the cord on both sides. I'll show you how to finish them with a really cool sliding knot closure at the end of this video. All right, now we're gonna make the square knot bracelet. So take your two center cords for this bracelet and tape them down to your workstation or secure them. And then you're going to take the long 72 inch cord and fold it in half and slip it behind the center cords. Now to tie the square knot, like before, we're going to take the left cord, bring it over the center cord, and then we're going to grab the right cord and it's going to go down behind the left cord and behind the center cord and it's going to come through the loop on the left. Then you're just going to tighten it up evenly, try to make it so there's the same amount on both sides. And then you're going to go and do the same thing, but in reverse. So the right cord makes the loop and the left cord goes back behind and comes through the loop on the right. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to tighten it up. You're just going to repeat that knot for this whole bracelet until it's the length that you want. I went until my bracelet was about six inches long and then you're just going to finish it off like you did the last bracelet. You're going to tie your working cord ends in a half knot like if you were tying your shoes and make sure you're doing it on the side that'll be against your skin. 
and then just put a dab of glue on the knot to hold it nice and secure and then you're going to cut off the working cord ends and if you want to add a little more glue here just to be safe it's a good idea then once you've made sure your ends are the same length just tie an overhand knot on each side and there's two cords on this bracelet instead of just one on each side and then like i said before at the very end of this video i will show you how to finish them with a nice sliding adjustable closure for this last bracelet we'll be doing the helix or a half knot spiral so just tape your center cords down and take your working cords that are folded in half and slide them up behind the center cords then you're going to tie like you're doing a square knot you're going to bring the left cord over and the right cord behind and through and then you're going to tighten it up but instead of switching to the other side for the rest of these knots you're just going to continue doing that same knot the whole time so again bring the left cord over the right cord behind and through the left loop and tighten it up and that's all you have to do and it's just going to form this really nice spiral pattern all by itself so just continue that until the bracelet is the length that you want I made my bracelet about six inches long and once you get it long enough you're going to finish it off the same as before tie your working cords into a half knot on the inside of your bracelet apply some glue then when it's dry cut off the working cord ends make sure the ends of your center cords are even and tie an overhand knot at the end of each side of the cord and then it's finally time for me to show you how to make the really cool sliding closure Okay, you're going to hold the ends of your bracelets overlapping next to each other and then you're going to take a 14 inch piece of hemp and you're going to hold it behind those cords and you're going to tie three square knots around your end cords of your bracelet. The first half of the first square knot's a little tricky because you got to hold it all in place. Once you finish the three square knots, go ahead and tie the working cord ends with, into a half knot like you did with the rest of the bracelets. And then you're going to apply a dab of glue there and wait for it to dry. And then you're just going to cut those ends off just like you did to finish the bracelet. Uh, make sure you don't get the glue on this part of the cord that'll be sliding through. But then that's your sliding closure. And you can easily take your bracelets on and off and it's super duper convenient. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more crafty tutorials and DIYs. Thanks for watching!